Welcome to my place. My name is Joe. I've been here about 26 years now. I bought this property back in 1989 when I was still in the Navy. And I wanted to have a driveway that was lined with magnolia trees. So before they built this uh, Tom or, uh, Greer's up on the corner, uh, I went through that woods and they had a lot of magnolias. So my sons and I dug them up and planted them along here. And, and they're growing. Eventually what I want them to do is to form an archway so when you drive down through here, it's like going through a tunnel. One of the reasons I wanted to to build out here was to be kind of self-sustaining. To be able to, to grow a garden, grow fruit trees, and, and things like that. I was in the Navy for 21 years. I was a Navy pilot. And we would move every three years or more often. And so whenever I would plant anything, then I'd have to leave like within three years, and you know, there it stayed. So I was looking forward to the time I could retire and kind of put down roots. So before, before we built out here, it was just total woods. So, <laughs> before their time. Anyway, uh, when we tried to evacuate, we were gridlocked on the highway. You couldn't go anywhere. It took like 13 hours to get to Tallahassee from here. So I decided I was going to build a storm shelter. So that's what this is that you see. I did Because the water table is so close to the surface, I couldn't go down. I had to go up. And uh, it took me a whole year to build it. I've got 2,200 blocks in there. And what you're looking at here is the outer wall, and then I've got an inner wall. But it, it's our uh, storm shelter. If a hurricane or a tornado comes, we can run in there. I don't have to worry about getting out of a cover for a 1,600-gallon water tank. I collect rainwater on the back of my house into 755-gallon drums, and then from there, I, I pump it up to there. And I, I store it, and so it's kind of a reserve water supply. I can use it for the garden. I use it in my hydroponic 72. So, but I'm still getting along, and as long as I get out of bed in the morning, I'm going to go out and garden, and, and I enjoy it. Uh, this, this embankment over here is a uh, broken concrete, and you're going to see it everywhere. But uh, I, I, I call it urbanite because it's mined in an urban area. Uh, it's been uh, very practical. I didn't want to just have, you know, all vegetables just in a row. I wanted to actually have uh, something that you could walk around and enjoy. And that's why I'm spread out. But like this drainage ditch here, I just didn't want to dig a ditch. I wanted to have a glorified ditch. It's, it's spring fed. And so, unless somebody throws something in there, I generally try to, to clean it out. My philosophy on planting a garden is the garden shouldn't just feed the, the stomach, but it should feed the eyes, the mind, and the soul as well. And that's how I've laid my property out. I really like being able to teach others and to help others to uh, share with what I have. A, a lot of the plants I have here that I've planted, uh, people have given me. So gardeners like to share with other people. That is a three gallon pot of bamboo. I put it in the ground and every time it would expand out I would divide and I kept dividing and I had that whole row of bamboo from one three gallon pot. For RN school, so I'm an RN now as well. But the reason I tell you that is don't give up. Just because you can't do something today or tomorrow doesn't mean you can't complete something a year or 10 years from now. Uh, set a goal for yourself and then keep striving to achieve it. You can do okay, so what I wanted to do was aquaponics where you where you grow uh, plants on a raft and the, the roots go down into the water, pick up the nutrients until I can catch the turtles and relocate them uh, and get the ducks away. I'm probably not going to be very successful. I was trying to grow like lettuce and various mm -hmm. other things that you can grow in an aquaponics environment. And, and I catch it and it goes automatically into these 755 gallon drums. Yeah, so what I do is I collect it here and then I've got pipes going underground and it goes up to the big 1600 gallons. I don't know if you know how water pressure works. It doesn't work from the pump. It works from the fact that the pump pumps water into the tank and as the water comes up in the tank, that head of air uh, gets compressed and it forms a uh, pressure. 
so it'll go up to 60 pounds of pressure and then the pump will cut off but the, when you turn the hose on and the water comes out the pressure is not from the pump it's from the air pressure forcing it out of the tank so i ended up uh, buying some solar panels and the batteries and, and getting the, all the associated hardware that you need so I could learn about solar. And so I, I can use this as kind of a backup power source. But up on my, up on the storm shelter, I have solar panels as well that charge batteries and I'm running a 12 volt freezer inside of my storm shelter from the batteries that the solar panels are charging. Whoa, where are you going? Okay, this, this is hydroponic, and I grow tomatoes and cucumbers in here. It's all free. Uh, at the horse stables, they let you take all you want. The guy has a, a tractor with a front end loader. I have a friend with a dump trailer, and I can get all this for free. It takes about six months or so to, to uh, break down. When it breaks down, though, it looks like this. You never know that this was that. And I put it in my garden. I make uh, my, my uh, potting soil with it. What I do is I collect, I collect leaves over in Crown Point subdivision just because it's close. People rake their leaves up, bag them up, and set them out for Wednesday morning pickup. I go over there with my trailer and I pick the leaves up that they've already bagged up. I take them over here and run them through my shredder and uh, it breaks down real nice. And I use that in my garden too. Uh, they're domesticated, which means they're easy to, to, uh, to raise. Yes, and we always have so much that we give our sister-in-law oranges and we give them juice. And we always have so much more that, than our freezers. No air conditioning, but I do run a dehumidifier. Yeah, yeah so come on in. <clears throat> Carrots and this is my 12 volt freezer, runs on batteries. Solar powered. Well if we had a hurricane we would we would move stuff out of the way and put cots up. We have cots. Thank you everybody for coming for the tour. I love to show my place off and because I am proud of it. But but at the same time too I like to share some of my experience and my knowledge. Thank you, Mr. Joe and Ms. Nancy. You're welcome.